Hi, welcome to Daily Nuggets of Inspirations. Today there is a nugget from the Lord. Yes, there is. But I'd just like to send a special shout out to those of you who have subscribed to this channel. Thank you so much and I really appreciate you. To those of you who are viewing for the very first time, please like and subscribe. A warm welcome to you. Also, share, share the broadcast. Yes. And the Lord, there's a blessing for each and every one of you. What has been tugging at me today is um, in, in looking to the Lord for a word, a nugget today, I'd like to share um, from one of my books, Restoring the Torn of Bed. Yes on marriage and the topic today is blind sighted yes i'll repeat that again blind sighted and i'd like to also acknowledge dappy tiki piano ministry ministry in the background dappy tiki's is a wonderful his ministry is a wonderful gift to the body of christ and yes these read <laughs> These readers are, are going to help me to, to read um, for you. Here it is. Marriage. That's a question. Marriage. Yes. Marriage is really a ministry. Says who? You may ask. Well, can you hear the word resounding from the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 18 to 19 listen to what verse 18 says wives submit to your own husbands as is fitting in the Lord and verse 19 says husbands love your wives and do not be bitter toward them did you hear that husbands I repeat that again Husbands, love your wives and do not be bitter toward them. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 33 says, and I'm reading from the New King James Version, Nevertheless, let each of you in particular so love his own wife. Don't love someone else's wife. Love your own wife as yourself. And let the wife Wives, see that she respects her husband. Yes, wives, including myself, we must respect our husband. Sadly, though, husbands and wives have been blindsided by neglect and procrastination, which is the thief of time. Yes, procrastination is the thief of time. The silent treatment dominating each other, disrespect, mistrust, and yes, jealousy. This list can go on and on and are like vices eating away at the very core of your marriage relationship. You have been blindsided. Husbands, do you find yourselves too busy to pick up the telephone and call your wife and say, Honey, I just called to tell you I love you. Or to come home to eat dinner with the family. When was the last time you even had a conversation with your wife? How much longer are you going to procrastinate displaying just how much you really love her? Wives, you too have been blindsided. When, and I'm speaking to myself first, yes. When are you going to consistently wash and iron your husband's clothes and cook his food without burning the pot? And yes, we have been here before, but I just felt a nugging to share this again. Blindsided. What about keeping his castle? Freshly cleaned. Hmm? 
When was the last time you clipped his finger and toenails or anointed him with oil? The word of God is speaking this time from the book of Romans chapter 12 and verse 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Pause right now and calmly think about this. Be calm now. Think about it. In every car, there is a blind spot. So as you know, one must always utilize the two sides and the rear view mirrors. Still, the blind spot remains though. So it is in marriage relationships. There are blind spots that only Yahweh, the God who redeems, can give the revelation. Today, let us, I'm including myself, ask Abba Father to take the blinders off so you can minister his love to your spouse without being judgmental. Make it a, a priority to speak kind words to each other. Seek to build each other. It is also important to accept each other for who you are. We're not to try to change husbands or not to try to change their wives. Wives or not try to change their husbands, but accept one another. Yes, tender loving care is much needed. TLC, tender loving care is needed and you will see bitterness and wrath flee away. Take precaution, make Jesus Christ. Make sure that Jesus Christ is at the helm for it is only he who will keep you and I from being blindsided. Yes, and this particular year makes 40 years of being married to my husband. Husbands and wives, husbands and wives, it is time to take a stand. Make a 100% effort to display the love of Christ to each other. You will never ever be blindsided in your relationship with each other. Your relationship will grow by leaps and bounds. Marriage, marriage, it's a question. Marriage, yes, that's the nugget today. Marriage is a ministry which cannot afford to be blindsided. Become a force to reckon with in your marriage and allow Jesus Christ to be the super glue that keeps you together. Listen, God bless you right where you are. Keep loving on one another. Hold each other a little closer, a little tighter each day. Cherish the moments that you spend together with your spouse. Blessings until next time.